I'll get started by cutting a square edge on a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood that measures 10 by 25 inches. And I'll just check that real quick with the framing square. And that looks good. Now I'll flip it over and attach a piece of wood to the bottom, making sure to keep it flush with the edge. Now I'm going to attach a handle just about in the middle of the board. It doesn't have to be perfect. So this is how this is going to work. First of all, I've got two pieces of sacrificial material on my workbench. That way I can cut through the plywood and it gives me a little room to cut through. I don't want to hit the table with the saw blade. I've measured up 29 and a quarter inches, which is the measurement. Use the framing square and drawn a square line. Next, I'll grab the fence that I just made or the jig, hold that on. You can see it just squares itself up, a little pressure on the handle. And then I'll take the circular saw and line the circular saw up at that line, move the jig in, and I'm ready to make the cut. Before I made the cut, I checked it out and it wasn't quite square, so I added a piece of sandpaper. This is 80 grit with the adhesive on the back, and I'll add one piece of painter's tape. And I think that'll be perfect. Okay, well that worked out really well, and it's one of these things that I should have made probably 20 years ago. You don't have to have this angle. This is just a piece of scrap wood that I had kicking around. I would suggest though that you make the jig at least 25, 24 inches long. That way you can cut through a half a sheet of plywood. So the dimensions would be 25 by 10 and a half, and I'm using 3 quarter inch plywood. If this is the first time that you've tuned into my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.